let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go to work. Let's go. Highly trained dogs, as well as sophisticated forensics labs, have enabled investigators to pinpoint the cause of fires much more accurately than in the past. Show me. Show me better. The dog can tell us that there's a high probability that there's a liquid accelerant at the, uh, in the fire. And uh, when she does her show me, that tells us where to take the best sample to send to the lab for confirmation. At least half of all arson fires are started by young people under the age of 18. And almost 7% of those are children under the age of 10. Children set fires either out of curiosity and experimentation or to, as a cry for help or with the older children it's more of a delinquent acting out against authority um, and then a small percentage of children have what we would call an obsession the insurance information institute says there are steps that you can take to decrease the chance that vandals will start a fire near your house and those include keeping firewood and other flammable items out of sight and away from the edge of the house Support neighborhood watch groups because they act as a deterrent to all kinds of crime, including arson. And if a fire is set, it's likely to be spotted and stopped early. And report any suspicious activity. If they see something suspicious going on, report it to the police. If they, they see a vacant piece of property and they notice that there's lights on or there's stuff stacked up against the house, call the police on a suspicious situation. Let them check it out. Both firefighters and insurance investigators have developed more sophisticated techniques for determining arson. And as a result, there have been more arrests. Arson is no longer considered the crime that can't be solved. Carolyn Gorman reporting.